Thank you very much, sir. You may please be seated. The special guest of honor, the Commandant Deport Nigerian Army, the Chief of Staff Deport Nigerian Army, Chief Instructor Training Branch, Commander Recruit Center, officers, soldiers, instructors, recruit of 79 regular recruit intake, and ladies and gentlemen, I am Master Warrant of San Tony Dan, the Master of Ceremony for this oath-taking ceremony. Sir, permit me to give you a brief history of the importance of today's vocation. In the 15th century, men fixed their family branch to a pool and held it aloft in battle for the purpose of indicating their position. As a rallying point should the occasion arise and as their pride. Melvin Chilbury followed the same idea when a moral bearing were placed on their banner so that this will be seen well above the many. Armies were beginning to adopt a system of regimentation at the beginning of the 17th century. The history of oath taking in the Nigerian army dates as far back 1865, when the Grover Aousas became a regular force with the name Aousa Constabulary. Then oaths were administered with the sharp edge of the sword pressed to their tongue. Press to their tongues. After independence, the Nigerian army adopts the Commonwealth's mode of operation and run structure. The practice today is to take the oath to God, to the nation. That is why the Chaplain gentleman and the man represented the religious denominations recognized by the armed forces will be present to witness the oath taking of loyalty and allegiance to Nigeria and the laws of the land as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Armed Forces Act Cap 820 by recruits of 79 regular recruits intake, also enlisted as soldiers of the Nigerian Army. May I at this juncture please invite the adjutant, Deport Nigerian Army, to administer the oath of allegiance to the recruits. The adjutant, sir. I I Yeah. 
as young men and females of 17 and regular good age, what you have done today or at this particular hour is something very, very serious. It is something very, very, very serious. You have taken an oath If you could remember, five or six months or there about ago, you're all here fighting, disturbing the whole Federal Republic of Nigeria that you must, you want to be a soldier. Is that not so? Yes, sir! And now, 5,000 of you started joining. Is that not so? Yes, sir! But you can see today, 4,000 are about to conclude the journey. It's not an easy task. It's not an easy task. And what you are going to face outside as soldiers is not also easy. And you came here based on your personal ability. Are you still saying you want to be soldiers? That also? Yes, sir! Those that said they don't want to drop our uniform as for our laws that you've been trained here. As such, we found out that nobody is pursuing you. And as such, you should not be disgruntled. You brought yourself here. You brought yourself here. Willingly. And that's why we're sounding this word of warning. Once you have gone through the job, you have procedures. Once you don't abide by those procedures, then the force, the army that brought you here will use the force against you. So take it as serious warning. And that's why we have told you, as you have seen, all of us were wearing the same uniform. Now I'm here. From the Major General Grand Diagonal to the private soldier you are, you can see we are wearing the same kind of uniform. What differentiates us, maybe it's just the rank, but it's time to tell us we are all equal. So you have. You have had the basic training as you have heard what I said. You have got the basic training here. The instructors stood here hours, day and night, under sunlight, under the cold weather, under rain, to bring you to this level. As such, it is very important that wherever you go, you have to remember what was told you here. You must adhere to some of most of the instructions we gave you here. Those should be your guiding principles as you are going out and leaving this environment. You have just got the basic foundation. And we ensure you continue to build on the basic foundation of God to improve on your standard. You're all young men, you should as well aspire to become very good and very reliable leaders in this 
Sultan of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Is that clear? Yes, sir! You have seen, you have done your very, very best. As such, the remaining few hours, because they are very few, but they are very long hours, that are remaining, ensure you put the maximum effort to ensure that Saturday comes, you do a personal parade, and you live here peacefully. And ensure as you are living here, note, there is what they call the coronavirus 2019. Ensure you keep safe. Don't go to your various villages and start mingling. Anyhow, don't go and stay in prostitute house or other places that you know that are illegal and you go and contact the disease and come back here after two weeks. Ensure you protect yourself. It's your life. Don't allow yourself to be killed from a coronavirus disease. Not to be a bullet. Ensure you wear your mask. Wash your hands. And don't go to places that are bound to cause problems for you. Don't go and forget trouble. It's normal with all of you when you pass out. The next thing you see yourself, you go and start preventing trouble. This is not the time for trouble making. Try and stay safe. Also, ensure when you enter vehicle to come back or you're traveling, make sure warn the driver not to speed. Don't tell him you're in a hurry. 78. Up to date. What well, some of the police are still in the form of reference on duty. They had an accident. Because they accident. And he was seriously injured. The driver was driving recklessly. So ensure that does not happen. A soldier to warn the driver and tell him not to talk, not to speak with you inside. It's very important when you are coming back after two weeks. Is that clear? Yes, sir! On this note, I will say a very, very big congratulations for all of you. Yes, In a few hours, I said, just we have only Friday, and this today's night, then Saturday is the personal parade. We expect you to perform very, very well for that personal parade so that you beat the record of 78. If your parade fails and you can't beat 78, I'm going to take, I will keep you here on Saturday. I will graze you here. I will take permission to graze you further. That means you are not free to pass out. So ensure yeah, sure. you give me the very best in the Master of Are you going to give that? Yes, sir! So on this note, I will say congratulations and a very, very good and I will say well done. Thank you, sir! For those of you going to use special forces, we well, have not forgotten about you. Your training is going on. Your numbers have already been given, your army numbers. You have been given all necessary requirements. Your issue is going to come. Your uniforms are coming for the special forces. The black uniform is coming. And by the time you finish your training, you are also do, you are going to do your own graduation ceremony in Jackie. After your own graduation ceremony, you will do your own party for you. And then you give me your own break, and then you come, you go back, and then you prepare for the special forces action. 
Commandant Stepford Niger Army, Major General Sani Mohammed, MLI. 